Hello everyone. Today we are going to see this uh, working of this uh, kit that is electricity generation DC generator and show how generation of electricity can be done using small dynamo. Uh, in this kit there is an instruction manual. Then if you open the product you will be able to see there is a wooden base, wooden batten with some two wheel side tape on the top. Second wooden batten these two bent straw this pulley with a handle this pouch where there are leds cable ties foam pieces with two way tape then connecting wire four foam pieces connecting wire dynamo motor these are the rubber bands these are the screws and this is a nut bolt this is the nut bolt okay now let's start assembling the project now this project is all about that how a mechanical energy can be converted into electrical energy generator is a device which convert mechanical energy into electrical energy so first step is you are going to prepare a base for your generator so now there is a two way tape on this side of the batten so I will take this is the bottom side of the base take these foam pieces remove release paper and place these foam pieces into four corners of your wooden batten firmly so your base is ready it's going to be like this second step is that you will be fixing this wooden batten with these two holes so you can see there are two holes at the bottom of the batten and there are two holes on the base and these two holes should match so for this you will be needing screwdriver which is not provided in the kit you're supposed to arrange it at home so now see almost in hold this batten with your hand so that batten will not move along with the screwdriver otherwise batten will keep on moving and it will not get fixed now there is time to place another screw into second hole okay so it's ready now it's fixed with the screwdrivers now you will be pasting this motor here where is there is there is a two-way tape so we will be pasting it like this now to give extra support to motor we are going to place a cable tie around the motor which will keep motor in its place properly You can cut this extra cable tie. Now, next thing is that we are going to fix this pulley with using uh, by using this nut bolt. You can see with one bolt there are two nuts and one washer is there. So you are supposed to take out these two nuts. Okay, place this across the pulley. Actually, you can keep this washer at the end of this pulley and place, place it like this. Okay, now here we are going to put these two bolts.
it should be freely moving okay this pulley should be freely moving now next step is doing connection using connecting wire these connecting wires are always multi strand wire most of the time so you are supposed to remove this insulated coating which is there which is trapped and to give it a good twist unite all threads of wire together and then do the connections now while doing connection see now what we are going to do we are going to connect two leds on single dynamo so that's why what i am doing i am taking two wires together and i am uniting these two wires two black wires okay like this and now i will insert these two wires through this connecting pin of the dynamo here Now see I have inserted these wires through this pin of dynamo and I am just closing the loop to make the connection firm and tight. Similarly I will take two red wires and I will unite all its strands together to make it one single strand wire strand should be very well united because if the here strands are mixing or uh, touching each other then here short circuit will happen and project will not work so now I am inserting this red wire through this pin of dynamo see how it's coming out and now I will be twisting it once again okay now we will be taking the strands out or down we can say rather from these holes this hole which is near to dynamo like this again I will insert these two wires from and take it down from the hole see like this it's coming from this side now see what I am having here right now I am having four wires what I will do, See, you need to be careful while taking this down, connection should not break in between. Okay. Now I am having 4 wire, what I will do, I will take 1 red and 1 black from this hole which is next to that hole, again okay, up, and another red, another black from the hole which is behind the pulley now last step of this is we will be connecting LEDs now as you know long terminal of LED is positive short is negative so what I am going to do here I will connect long terminal to red wire right now before doing that one more thing we are supposed to do we will insert this wire through this straw we will take out these wires through this straw and we will fix this straw here in this hole by bending its bottom little bit straw will go inside so it will look like a pillar same here Now long terminal of LED is positive, here I am connecting this long terminal with this red wire okay? and short terminal with the black wire. Now while doing this, 
take care that this now here you see this black wire is if it's touching to the long terminal then there will be a short circuit so twist it properly and wind it properly to avoid any touching you can actually apply little bit of cello tape here now you can see there is extra wire this connection should be firm and if there is extra wire you can pull this extra wire from the bottom of the base and you can make this LED fix into the straw you can fix it into the straw okay like this okay so it gives you that look of street light now here what I am going to do I am going to do it reverse long terminal is positive short terminal is negative I will connect positive terminal with the black wire right now I will explain it at the end of the video why am I doing this and short terminal to the red wire I am just doing it opposite as that of the first connection okay now next thing is you are supposed to put a rubber band on this big pulley and small pulley okay now let's see now can you see when I am rotating it like this clockwise this LED is blinking which is like and if I rotate anti-clockwise another LED is blinking that's why I reverse the connection this dynamo can generate electricity in both ways both direction clockwise rotation as well as anti-clockwise rotation so anti-clockwise this LED is in circuit and this LED will blink clockwise this LED is in circuit this LED will blink you can do any way if you want same LED should blink at a time you can put both connections in a similar way or you can reverse it so both ways it will work 